Today this video is about flanges and its types. We will learn in this video. Definition of flanges. Advantages of flanges. Types of flanges. Detailed discussion on each type. Industrial applications. So let us first define what is a flange. Flanges are used primarily to connect two sections of pipe together using bolts. Pipe flanges are integral part of piping unit, like these examples given below. Welding neck flange and lap joint flange are two types of flanges. Advantages of flanges Flanges have number of advantages in a piping system. Ease of assembly in tight spaces. Easily assembled with moderate torque. Allow easy maintenance of connections. Reducing the chance of components becoming loose in rigorous hydraulic applications. Now move on to the types of flanges. Important types of flanges are given below. We will discuss in detail about all these types in later part of video. Welding neck flange. A welding neck flange is designed with a hub on the backside. These flanges are designed to match the inside diameter of the mating pipe so there will be no restriction of product flow. They also provide excellent stress distribution through the tapered hub. Welding neck flanges are preferred for use in severe service applications involving high pressure, sub-zero and elevated temperatures. Slip on flange. Slip-on flanges are designed to slide over the outside diameter of the pipe to which it will be welded. These flanges are attached to the pipe by fillet welding. Slip-on flanges are normally used in low-stress applications. Socket welding flange Socket welding flange have a bore diameter equal to that of the matching pipe. The counter bore provides a socket into which the end of the pipe is inserted. These flanges were initially developed for use in small diameter and high pressure lines. Internally welded socket type flanges are typically used in chemical processes, hydraulic lines and steam distribution lines. Lap joint flange. Lap joint flange is used in conjunction with a lap joint stub end. These flanges are nearly identical to a slip on flange. These flanges are used for pressure and low stress applications. These flanges are used in applications where the joint must be frequently disassembled for cleaning or where there is a need to facilitate bolt alignment. Blind flange. These flanges are manufactured without a bore. These flanges are used as closures or seals for the ends of piping systems. Blind flanges are provided with or without a hub, depending on applications. Under pressure and bolt loading, the blind flange is subjected to more stresses than any other flange type. Threaded flange A threaded flanges are threaded in the bore to match an external thread on the pipe. The threads are tapered to create a seal between the flange and pipe as the tapers approach the same diameter. A flange is used in applications where welding is hazardous. These flanges are normally designed for low pressure, non cyclic applications. Orifice flange Designed for flow metering systems, two flanges with bolts and jack screws are called an orifice flange union. Orifice flanges are used in conjunction with an orifice plate. Each flange is provided with a pair of pressure taps for measurement of pressure drop in the flow through the orifice plate. Orifice flanges may be provided in as welding neck. Slip on and threaded, reducing flange. A reducing flange consists of a flange with one specified diameter having a bore of a different and smaller diameter. Reducing flanges are designed for use in changing diameters in a piping system. Reducing flanges are normally provided as welding neck. Slip-on and threaded flange. 
reducing flanges provide the most perfect solution when you need to connect different sizes of flanges. Square flange. Square flanges are often used for connections between pipe to pipe and pipe to components. They are most often used in the line of hydraulic systems where a passage of fluids occurs. Square flanges are generally made of two materials which are steel and stainless steel. A full set of square flanges is made up of the o-ring, bolts, female flange and male flange. Flat face flange. The flat face flange has a gasket surface as the face of the bolting circle. A flat flange is one which is machined flat and does not have a ridge like elevated face or ring type joint flange. The flat surface allows full contact between the gasket and the entire matting surface. Applications of flat facial flanges are often those in which casting is made of the mating flange or flanged fitting. Raised face flange. It is called an uplifted face because the surfaces of the gasket are raised above the face of the bolting circle. The raised face flanges are used to concentrate more pressure on a smaller area of the gasket and thus increase the joint's pressure containment capability. The raised face flange is the most common type used in process plant applications. Ring joint flange Ring joint flanges have grooves which cut the steel ring gaskets into their faces. In ring face the flanges close the gasket and create intimate contact within the grooves, creating a metal-to-metal -metal bond. Ring joint flanges are used in systems over 400 degrees Celsius with extreme pressure and high temperature. Long neck flange In high pressure and high temperature situations, long welded neck flanges are used. The long neck guides the pipe into the flange itself. Long neck flange offers reinforcement that is not possible with a standard welded neck flange. Unlike many other types of flanges, long weld necks have no schedule bores. Thanks for watching and support our channel. Hope you like the video. The more subscribers we get the better and more content I can continue making. So please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.